The Interstate 85 widening project is especially uh, near and dear to me as I live in this area. I certainly have seen the growth over the years of this region and this area, especially as it relates to freight growth on the interstate and of course the regional growth in the area. Well, the $2 billion in state economic growth is expected from all the MMIP programs, including a saving of $1 billion in personal income. Thanks to the state's investment in highway improvements, more than 13,000 jobs will be created, and we believe that is just the beginning. And when all is said and done with this project, 26 miles of the new highway will be added, and we will see approximately 69% reduction in delays. The addition of extra lanes in this corridor too will obviously accommodate additional growth, and the bridge replacements will will provide a new level of uh, safety for our residents and for emergency responders. As we celebrate the completion of phase one, drivers between Hamilton Mill Road and State Route 53 in Brazelton are expected to experience a 56% decrease in delays. The project will also bring, bring time and money savings for busy families who use the quarter for work and for school. As someone who has traveled that corridor frequently, let me tell you, I've worn each of these hats at one time or another. I can personally attest to the fact that it has decreased traffic headaches for daily commuters. We have a significant number of people who come to Brazelton to work and many Brazelton residents who travel out for their employment. The interstate and the state highway system is one of the town's main assets, so this was an important project for us. GDOT did a great job of keeping the town and the public informed and that helped us also inform the community about the timeline and construction progress. I'd like to thank Gwinnett, Jackson, and Barrow County, as well as the cities of Swanee, Lawrenceville, Beaufort, Houston, Auburn, and the town of Brazelton and their community representatives for supporting these efforts as we widen Interstate 85. We're certainly appreciative of Governor Kemp the General Assembly, and of course, our State Transportation Board, and many others for supporting this important project. And to the individuals of all GDOT who has worked on this project, our consultants and our contractors, I'm especially grateful for making this such a successful project.